Hi and welcome to another episode of Let's Create Patterns in Blender and this time I will create these circular patterns that you often see in like kitchens. So let's start right away and we add a texture coordinate so shift A, go to input, select texture coordinate and then we have this UV here and I would like that to be scalable so we add a scale so drag out and write scale and we can put that to like four or something like that. Then I would like this scale to be divided in sections between zero and one. So that means that we use a fraction. So I will copy this one, shift D, and then I change it into fraction like this. And now I also would like to move the center point from here to be in the center of this UV and that we do with the subtract and the multiply node. So I take this one and just copy shift D, change it to subtract and change it to 0 0.5 like that. And then I do a multiply by two. So shift D multiply by two. So we add that in as well, make some space here so we can see it. And then I put in two here and then we have that in and then now I can connect it to the surface and you can see now that we have tiles here that are centered with zero here, a negative one here, positive here and those we can do a length on and then we create a circle on each of these so I will add a length, put in a length here and then that will be transformed into a length like this so then you get this circular pattern and I would like this to be like a round circle that is like totally white here and then black in the corners and we can do that with a less than so I just add a less than here and put it to one and put that to the surface and we get this so now we already are like half the way in and the only thing now is to make these like, yeah, so we get these holes in the middle and that we like get these uh, shapes here on the side. And one way to do that is to use exactly what we have now, but just move it like half a point out and a half a point down and then subtract that result with this result. So instead of doing all this again, we can take it from the fraction here to the length and less than and then after we select we press ctrl J or ctrl G to uh, make a group node out of it and then we have all the things we need now and we can just go back and press tab so now this little node here contains all these uh, circles so we can just call it for circle, so we select it and then we can go to properties and write circles like this. So if I now would like this to move uh, 0 0.5 in one direction, then I just can add that in here. So I can copy this one, shift D and do an add here, click to that add, put that in here, I can change it to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And if I put that in here, you can now see that we get like half here instead of it starting like a hole here. So all we have to do now is more or less to add these together. So shift A, convert the math, and we add them together. And you can see now that we get this pattern here that I would like to have from the beginning. And the only thing is that it's gray here, and that is because this value here is 1 because we got that from this circle here and this value here is also 1 but this value that is 2 because we added the circle here and the circle here together and then we get 2 here so by subtracting 1 we take away this here so that will be 0 and this will be 1 so all we have to do now is to take this shift D duplicate and subtract with one and now we have our pattern so it's not 
so complicated but you need to know how to mask things out because we're using two circles and then we mask them by subtracting the or we add them first and then we subtract and that is I think the hard thing with this that if you add two things together it will become two and not between zero and one so we we suddenly go up to two but then we can subtract the uh, result and then we just get the maximum value which was two uh, left and then the rest is taken away and we get this pattern here so hopefully you learned something today as well and i say bye for now and see you later